All right, all right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to DM Tozy Presents. Planescapers, episode 17, the mid-season finale. Hold on to your butts. All right, uh, we want to thank all of you for co-creating this epic campaign with us. Uh, it's been a journey so far. We have a lot more D&D 5e to go. Uh, but right now, we've come to sort of a conclusion within uh, part of the campaign, which I'm really happy about. We're celebrating our midpoint tonight. If you, um, if you find any of what you're look, about to look at confusing, which I would if I watched it, um, please go back and watch our previous episodes that are on Twitch. If you go all back to episode one, though, you have to go to YouTube because um, uh, it's been more than 60 days or whatever the, the time limit is. Um, but if you have Amazon Prime, please consider subscribing with us. Uh, you get a free one if you have Amazon Prime. Uh, or um, uh, it's essentially free with Amazon Prime. Or you can, uh, you can uh, get a recurring sub. That'd be super awesome. That'd be great. Um, if the show's been flowing your boat, consider a recurring paid. A uh, recurring sub helps us plan on ways to make the show even better. Uh, please do what you can, uh, but make sure it works for you. That'd be great. Uh, we've updated our channel points. Okay, so this is an, this is an ongoing thing. Uh, we had a lot of people use it last night, inc including some of the players during PvP when they were dropped out. We decided that they could use channel points. It was a blast. Um, so you can access the channel points using the orb-like thing, the orb-like icon at the bottom left of the chat window. Uh, so we have DM Inspiration. Um, I'm not sure if you know about this, Alyssa. Uh, we have DM Inspiration, which for a thousand uh, channel points, you can give me an inspiration, and I can use that for <laughs> I can use that for a monster, what? or I can use that for an NPC to try and help out the players, but more than likely a monster. This happened to us last week. They empowered the dragon. We you can fighting. use five. Oh, good. You can, oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> you can use 5K, five k, five thousand points for a monster upgrade. I have the stats for that, which means an, a monster gets upgraded to a dire version of itself. Um, or you can spend 10,000 on player inspiration. That goes directly to the players to help them out. Or 50K, I'm not sure if anybody can have 50K at this point, for something incredible. We're, we've yet to decide what that is. That's probably like naming a location after you or maybe even naming like an upcoming monster or a big bad after you, which would be super cool. Uh, so consider, consider subscribing and helping out for those. That'd be great. Um, okay, so. Uh, we'll make some more announcements after our, our break at the top of the hour, but for now, let's introduce our planescapers. All right, Roberto. Roberto, introduce yourself. I'm Roberto. I uh, play a tiefling fighter named Grammaticus. Excellent. Alyssa. Hi, I'm Alyssa. I play Nim, a changeling hexblade warlock. Excellent. Russ. Hello, uh, I'm Russ. I'm going to be playing LL, a tricksy arcane trickster rogue. Excellent. Who keeps? Changing the, the levels, so we. I'm know. getting more wizardy by the day. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the less rogy. Excellent. Uh, and our guest star. I'm super excited. We have Kyle White, all, well, all the way from Texas, from this Texas family. Welcome, <laughs> buddy. What are you playing today? I am playing a grave cleric uh, named McKen. Uh, he is a gem dragonborn, uh, amethyst gem dragonborn. Awesome. Um, so he looks like a dragon, is what you're saying. He is mostly dragon, no wings, mm -hmm. but he, he has a tail and he has dark purple. Sweet. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, and you have your figurine. The first, first I do. interloper to bring their own figurine, I think. My sister made this for me. That is super rad. The base broke off as soon as I got here. But other than that... Um, that is awesome, buddy. All right. So we're going to get into it. Um, okay. Okay. Last, <laughs> last session, a lot happened, right? Uh, we, got into a lot of, we got into a lot of fights. There was a portal rush where you guys ended up... You, smashing these strange Zagoliath crystals amidst the multiverse, including inside a chapel to Paylor, uh, a, a zoo enclosure, and also a paintball center. Uh, you grabbed a paintball gun. Dead. Yeah, you grabbed sure, Okay, so sure you have did. a... I'm not oh. going to do the stats. I'm just going to say you have a semi-automatic paintball gun. Okay, okay. Would it be... Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll save it for the game. <laughs> <laughs> save it for the game. The less questions you ask, the more you can get exactly. away with. That's true. Yeah. That's totally save true. Save save That's totally true. Uh, okay, so last time we ended that, you guys fought off Meon, the questioner, who you fought in the second episode. You killed him, and now you had to kill him again because he came back as undead. Um, and you fought off a bone dragon, a crazy, like, ice-frosted uh, monster upgraded bone dragon who breathed <laughs> necrotic ice all over you. Uh, and then, uh, but to uh, destroy the crystals, you saw the winglings 
uh, the Harbingers of Destruction come in on different portals. Uh, they are named, by the way. Um, they come in again as you rush in, and they bring in Makin uh, with them. Uh, you see Chernobyl, the pink one, who can speak. Uh, Hindenburg, who makes a lot of chirping noises. Uh, and Deepwater Horizon, who's a little special. Right now you see him like eating his tail. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Chern uh, Chernobyl, the pink one, comes up to you, and he comes up and he goes, Uppies. <laughs> it goes to you, Grammaticus, and goes, Uppies. Uh, I look around, pick him up. and I'm like, <laughs> you pick him up, so now he's like at your level. <laughs> he goes, uh, and he goes, he goes, so now you see the power of this dead god. Uh, you are adorable. <laughs> What's but I do, I do. It, our adorableness is part of our magic, part of our chaos, part of our madness. <laughs> no, no, stop that. That's no, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, so now you see the ma how, uh, how deep the evil goes. Zargoliath is invulnerable unless we destroy his pylons, his crystals, the blood of his very nature that incorporates the multiverse. It uh, seems I, like it's personal for you, man. Uh, he says he is a creature of chains who wishes to bind the universe and thus destroy it. The multiverse itself will be destroyed if Zargoliath can, uh, can achieve his purpose. Do you understand? And like, he grabs you and tries to shake you, but he, it's just a little monkey, like. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand, I do, I do. Okay. Downsies? Downsies, please. <laughs> uh, you put him down, um, uh, and he says, and you, uh, Nim, you weren't here for this one, but such is their terror. We must go. Uh, he says, the rules of chaos, are such that we might, we cannot stay in one place for long. The helm lies ahead, where a planescape beacon, but there is, there is something else there. We will assist you as best we can from the shadows of the multiverse. I'm out. Uh, you, uh, Deepwater Horizon, like, <laughs> runs up and just, <laughs> <laughs> okay. He is attempting to communicate as best he can. It's very sweet. <laughs> Uh, Chernobyl says, we wish you the best of luck. We will see you in another time. Perhaps the past. Mayhaps the future. Hopefully the future. And then he does a backflip into another portal and they all just, and they disappear and you're left alone. See, so what I'm getting is, we would have been in a bad situation if I hadn't talked these little guys fired. <laughs> yeah, totally They're justified. Helping us out now, so. Yes, we'll see. <laughs> Their names aren't ominous at all. No, yeah, and they're so all. cute, and they make those noises <laughs> that are... In this universe. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure the names refer to events or locations in another universe that are totally fine. Totally yeah. fine. Uh, totally a, yeah. portal, a portal opens up again, and Chernobyl like pushes out Machin, and they say, but we have one gift for you. This creature of madness, this black sheep amongst the interlopers, he is unrivaled in his chaos. Truly a gift. Enjoy him. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> he jumps into the puddle again. I'm here to help someone. Hello. Uh, Hello. I hope it's us. <laughs> <laughs> we, know, we know that's what you look like, but yes. like, how would you describe how would you describe uh, how So you it's look? like a, a deep, deep purple that if the light isn't reflecting off, it looks, pur looks black cool, uh, cool. to blend in with his robes. Um, and is it like skulls everywhere? You're grave cleric. I know you're grave cleric. Yeah, yeah. So is it like every now and then skulls embroidered on? Very subtly. It, gotcha. It's not like ostentatious, like I am representing death. It is gotcha. very much like, yeah, I'm here for killing. <laughs> but you so, know, so if you were talking, I'd be like, oh, yes. Yeah, what is this? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's, it's not like affliction, but it, it yeah. <laughs> Fair distinction. Fair distinction. <laughs> it's like in the Disney Resort hotels, they have like a little secret Mickey Mouse. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's it. That's yeah. it. It's a secret Mickey Mouse. Right. It's a secret. Do you want the God of Death? Okay, let's see. Um, goddess. Well, while you're doing this, I have some, <laughs> I have some provisions to uh, to give out. What are your provisions? Um, so we just got a bunch of scrolls in the last episode. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you this scroll of counterspell to hold on to. If you don't use it, I need it back. Okay. <laughs> to learn it. Okay, okay. However, 
<laughs> this is real DVD energy here. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna watch it. I need to eat it. I'm gonna need it. But it has to be used within 30 feet of a spellcaster. So okay. presumably, if you're in melee, you're gonna get a chance to use it. Right. You're also the only one of us that can use it without having to roll a die since it's a third level spell. Okay. You can just use it at will. He's being very right. dramatic. You could go buy another scroll of counter spell. Okay. And get the okay. It's nope. very expensive. It's the only one that exists. <laughs> Your mother and I paid for this over the course of three months. We need you to take care of it. Uh, and I gave Germanicus. Two seconds later, screen's broken. <laughs> uh, I give Grammaticus the scroll of Tasha's hideous laughter. Gr Graham, single target shutdown. They will think you're hilarious. Thank you. I am hilarious. I, and they'll believe it. <laughs> That's what they'll think. <laughs> Okay, so you guys are in, you guys can make your way out of the cave, that ice cave you were in. And now up ahead, Dart is with you. Cool, cool. He stands really well. It's really it weird, is. it doesn't have no face, it's still standing well. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, what do I use for Dart? Um, let's use, yeah, let's use this, it's fine. Dart is with you. Yay! Who's Dart? Dart is a, uh, a robot inhabiting a robot, essentially. It's a, oh, right. A, a little construct spider with, with an intelligence uh, occupying another robot and making it move. A robot. Uh, okay. You guys see another um, another block ahead of you of the train. Can, I, can I ask quickly? Yeah. Did, did Neon, like, have anything on him? Was there anything to collect in that cave where we were just having the, that battle? Just the pamphlet. Okay. okay. I want to take that. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> uh, you take the pamphlet. Okay, cool. Um, uh, actually, roll uh, roll me a perception investigation. Nat twenty. Oh my god! Look at you. You found everything. Are we doing this uh, <laughs> on the back of the pamphlet? It, like a like a um, like a magic eye puzzle. Mm -hmm. You see like. Uh, there's there's a strange like kind of esoteric picture of something indecipherable, but like if you look at it the right way, it looks like a strange blackish blue drop of blood, uh, uh, and there's a message underneath that says, "Drink the blood of Zangoliath and become likened unto him." Mm. Like it's very religious, uh, and it sends a, a quick. Shiver up your spine. Maybe, or maybe you're interested. <laughs> <laughs> Looks at you. I figured out the puzzle on the back of you guys. Woo! It says this. something about a we will know pain slash pleasure. Yeah. It's like we will never know. Should I solve it? Says you're definitely a genius if you get this. <laughs> uh, Dart says, uh, Dart says, uh, ahead lies the first class, uh, first class block. Um, and then ahead of that lies the helm of the equestrian. Great. Well, I feel like we already got rid of the big bad. Should be nothing much to worry about. Yeah, Probably no. just going through the motions. Right? Yeah. We're just, yeah, totally. Why I feel like what you're saying is about to be ironically <laughs> countered by events about to transpire. I didn't know you were programmed for irony. That's fantastic. I'm programmed for many things. They stop me. From, they stop me from. <laughs> you stop me from dealing with grief beforehand. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> uh, what do you do? So this is the first class cabin. I'm assuming this is like rubble that's and glacier. That's some rubble that's come in, yes. Okay. Um, is, uh, is this the hall or is this the hall? The, uh, this is this is where you're coming in, so the door's right there. Door's open. This door is open and you see, you see ahead of you, uh, you see the lush carpets of the first class segment of the train seemingly untouched by the glacial collision except for right there. Mm. Uh, two doors, the probably Two doors to the probably lavish bedroom stand closed to the north, but this one is uh, under rubble. Okay. Uh, from here, you can hear the spark and energetic combustions of the equestrian's helm block. You hear. <laughs> Up ahead of you. you Up ahead of us in the next car. Next car. Got it. Got it. All right, well, um, can I just make like a uh, investigation slash Listen, check at the door over here. You come over here. Give me a perception investigation. Um, it's like a 17, I believe. 18. Uh, you hear a throat being cleared. You hear... <clears throat> That's what you hear. 
Um, no, no. I, I, I move up to the door as well. Okay. Okay. You can put me in there as well. Okay. Okay. Before you, yeah, before you go by, I, I, I do, I do have some pamphlets on oh, on no. the goddess of death. If if, if anyone's interested, <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, but yeah. I think we're all interested. interested. Yeah. It, it, she's that super sounds cool. very she's, interesting. She's super cool. Um, she, she more or less into death than Zagoliath, though. Uh, more. more, definitely more. Yeah, I don't know okay. who Zagoliath is, but more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is more, regardless. I mean, is there any sort of entry fee, or you know, can we can we like read the pamphlet and attend a meeting, perhaps? Uh, this is your meeting. This will be your meeting. Oh, yeah. So. Oh my, God. <laughs> oh my God. My God. So I think we'll all sit down and start reading together. <laughs> I'll like, start aloud. Flip through. It's like <laughs> one of those timeshare things where you get the free vacation. <laughs> but yeah. 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 If, right. If you all guys, three of you sign up. I will be promoted to the next. Hang out. And another group of adventurers come to <laughs> They just, yeah, you can play through. They get, they get, they get blasted. They just die. And it's up I to you. It's up to you again. Oh, no! <laughs> um, all right. I'll back up to the wall, and I'll have the, the mage hand open the door. The mage hand uh, opens the door. OK. One second. I'm going to start hiding around the corner, like, over there. I want to see what. Like, Kirish? If they come out, I want to see what they're like. I want to see who they are. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see who to, who to transform it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, a very nice looking beard. A, uh, a table over here with a gorgeous looking tea set. Uh, and a chest right here. Mm -hmm. uh, this chest is the most ornate Mm. Like cogged and wheeled and a uh, complicated chest you've ever seen. There's some good in there. Mm -hmm. Or something cursed. Or something <laughs> cursed and good. Yeah, yeah. What better call A, better call B. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you do? We don't see who is clearing their throat. You see no one in the room. Mm. Hmm. I'm sure everything's fine. <laughs> Um, the T-set looks, <laughs> the tea set looks very valuable. It's made of, uh, uh, lavishly made with emeralds all over the place. Hmm. Uh, I walk into the room and shout, Spirits, declare yourself! <laughs> <laughs> so you shout, Spirits, declare yourself. Uh, Old for a man who just died last night. <laughs> <day. laughs> That's, that's not how to talk to spirits. <laughs> you say, spirits declare yourself. Um, uh, you <clears throat> see the chest, a mouth appears on the chest, oh, and the oh chest boy. says, it's not like a mimic mouth, it's just like a normal mouth, which is you say this mouth somewhat is. more terrifying. Oh, mm. This is a, okay. a magic mouth spell. Uh, uh, but it looks like a gear mouth, like it's made of oh. gears, like it opens, <laughs> and, it, and it says, uh, well, there's no need to yell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 your chest. Ah, yes, <laughs> chest, <laughs> my goodness. No, no good, sir. I am a deluxe, a super secure safe. Thank you very much. Uh, I stand corrected. Yes, you do. I guard. Precious material from the conductor and his personal quarters. What sort of material? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> not going to catch me on a semantic question. No, I've been fiercely ordered to not disobey my owners and give away precious information. And, and who, who are those owners, by the way? The conductor. Is there? Can I look around for like a picture of the conductor? Uh, you, you, uh, yeah. You go around. There's, there's actually a picture like by the bedside table. Uh, you see like an old timey, artistic uh, representation. It's actually think like one of those old, those first like camera uh, photos. It looks okay. kind of like that. And there's a very stern looking conductor, and you can see the super, super secure safe in the background. Okay, great. Good to know. 
what he looks like. <laughs> For no reason. For no reason whatsoever. Great. Okay. Um. Um. Let's see. Can okay. I? Can I? Uh, what do you attempt? Do? I'll move into the room. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna check this tea set for traps and the surrounding areas. Uh, the, 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 su- the super secure safe says, ah, get away from that, you don't own it. On guard, on guard I say. Well, I'm not going to fight you, sir. I'm just making sure the room is secure. You will not fight me, you will certainly lose. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I roll a persuasion check? To, uh, what are you trying to do? I have to convince the chest that uh, letting us know what's in the chest would give us the proper respect to, to, to like respected space. Uh, oh, give me a roll of persuasion. Okay, yeah, do it. Then uh, <laughs> <that> one. <laughs> Two. It's, 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 it's a net one. one. That's a net one. Okay, okay. so uh, <laughs> the the manner in which you you describe that to me is the manner in which you ask the chief. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just some stumbling. So uh, 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 perhaps we should. My no, God, like, use the chest check was my God, man. Do you need a lozenge or a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, oh. Go ahead. Um, my hand will step in. Yeah. And with a deep voice from behind. Yes. Is it open? And I'll cast command on the chest. Oh God. Uh, so I make a wisdom saving throw, right? Sure. I fail. Uh, the you see uh, three um, keyholes open up on this thing, and one of them goes. Uh, roll me a d6. Two. What, what are you giving me? What are, who's giving me what? Someone gonna empower the chest I to swear resist? I swear Is that DM inspiration? Player inspiration. Player inspiration? I didn't, don't need it. Roll a d20. Uh, I think they're right giving up. you player inspiration. Me? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think they are. So you can re-roll the persuasion, or you can hold on to that. I will hold, hold on to it. That's a 10k buy. Thank you for the 10k buy. It's 10k. Yes, it's thank 10K you very points. much. I'll hold on to it, okay. because nice. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> pretty great. Okay, yeah, He's going to need yeah. that. So what'd you roll? What'd you roll, Kyle? Two. Two, okay. Um, okay. Uh, what, yeah, one of the holes just goes like it spins and it retracts, and it's it, there's a clicking sound, almost as if one of the locks here has been dissolved. It's gone, uh, and then the uh, the the safe says, "How dare you, sir? You 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 forced me out of my my primary motive. How dare you? You're welcome. Oh, I see how today is going to be." You brigands, <laughs> you ne'er do wells. On guard! And it like hops up a little bit, and that's. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, relax. We've been given the keys. We have your keys. We're not going to break into you. Nothing's going to get harmed. We uh, have the uh, alpha key and the bravo key. And the third key as well. I'm sure you the Charlie key. Stole the Charlie's key. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Transforming into what I saw in the picture. You transform into the, the conductor. conductor. Excellent, excellent. You can, like you have like um, one of those uh, uh, well, these must infinite. Have... Um, uh, what do you call them? Must it goes around like? Oh. Uh, it's like, like the mutton chops ending. or whatever. Yeah, 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 but it just keeps going, and then you have like, yeah, you have like a shaggy overcoat. Yeah, okay, okay you look great. like him. Did, did the chest say that it has a name, or it just is? Super secret, super super well, secure safe. Super secure safe. I'm gonna walk in, Yeah. and I'm like, super secure safe? What are you, the, I clearly gave the keys to these guys, like why are you not opening? Uh, I need my stuff. Uh, 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 oh, good gods, oh, the conductor. Oh my, your voice has changed. <laughs> uh, roll me a deception with advantage. Okay, let's see. Here. Eighteen. Uh, uh, the, okay, roll me, roll me another d6. Four. Okay. Uh, the super secure safe says, uh, 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 as, per, as per instructed, even if it were you to come and try to open up your own safe, sir, uh, disengage one lock, and the middle lock goes, <laughs> but there's still one lock here on the safe. Perfect. Okay. Why in the world did I do this? <laughs> I can never get my own shit. 
<laughs> oh, so pleased to see you here, Conductor. We're honored by your presence. I am honored by yours. Don't worry, we've been hired by the Silver Parabola as uh, engineers to open up your chest for you. Oh, thank God. Here are the instructions that I received from your counterparty, which are Alpha, three right, and Bravo, two left, whatever that, uh, whatever that means. This is what we've gathered. You, you go down to look, and it looks as if Alpha, you can see a little tiny A above one of the locks that's, that's, that's been clicked, and Bravo are unlocked. It looks like C, the instructions you do not have. Oh, come on! <laughs> C for come on. What are the <laughs> odds? 33%. What, uh, do you do? Uh, what do you do? Never tell you that. Mm -hmm. Roll for it randomly, I'm sorry. What do you do? Uh, Let's see, what do we have? Uh, where did I put those fucking instructions? And I'm gonna start looking around the room, like in the anywhere uh -huh. for like a little, I don't know, a note of some sort. But you, the the safe is just like I'm, I'm so terribly sorry. Oh no, I, I wish I could help you. I, I you failed. can help me. I have failed in my mission. No, your first, your first, your first orders you gave me were to never open the safe. <laughs> I cannot open my safe in for you. Excuse me, super secure safe. Yes. Were we to use the Charlie key, would we able would we be able to try several times if we don't have it in the right orientation the first time? Or are you going to do something to us if we get it in the wrong orientation? Uh, roll me persuasion. <laughs> uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it says doors. I cannot tell you. Exactly, but it sounds like you're friends of the conductor. If you were to put it two to the right, that would be disastrous. If you were to do it four to the right, also disastrous. <laughs> if there existed a number between <laughs> two and four to the right, perhaps that would work. Ah, and like sweat <laughs> would fall down from the from the chest. Elementary, my dear friend. <laughs> All we have to do is figure out a number between two to the right and four to the right. Ah, we're fucked. <laughs> the answer is orange. Yeah. <laughs> Great, what do you do? Uh, I compliment him, the, the chest on his on his integrity okay. and, his, and his loyalty. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I feel like I have failed. I've given up too much information. No, you're no, doing great. Right. No, I will, oh. if I had a whip, I would beat myself. No. Uh, uh, I have one, would you like one? Oh, do hit me. I deserve it. I take out the plus one whip. <laughs> it's in my backpack, and I give it a little ceremonial, a little thunk. Uh, you give it a ceremonial thunk, I think you have enough information, it pops right open. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it pops open, you see that there are two potions inside. Uh, which look to be potions of greater healing. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. And a ring. Ooh. Two potions. Uh, this is a, this is a, a beautiful, that looks like, it looks like cogs, like interwoven with each other, the ring itself. I'll do the identify ritual on it so we don't have to like sleep with it to okay. learn what it does. This is an improved ring of the grammarian. Uh, this is from a different podcast. Uh, I forget the name of the podcast, so uh, please don't sue me. But this is an improved ring of the Grammarian. It acts as a ring of protection, gives you plus one to AC and saves. Very strong. Wow. Requires attunement. But the ring of the Grammarian part means if you cast a spell, you can change one letter of that spell and change the spell entirely. What? But every time you do it, you have to. It needs to be a different word. So you can only do each word once. Well, each invention of whatever you want to create once. You do roll a d100 to see if it works very well, but you can change you any can change spell. One letter of one any letter spell, of spell, and it's it's like you, the god's interpretation of what that new spell does. So instead of like cause fear, you can st you can stay cause bear. Oh my god! And it we'll deal with what sense. what that has to be. Crazy. Why is that so cool? <laughs> <laughs> so you could do. I don't, I need to look on D&D &D Beyond. Honestly, what? I need to look. It's what like a scribe wizard times a thousand. <laughs> uh, you can change what your spells do, but you can't do it. You can't do it twice. So if you cast cause bear instead of cause fear, you can't do that ever again. Ever right. again for life. You can, uh, yeah, ever, ever again. Yeah. Oh, then wow. you have to do cause deer, D E A R, the next time. Yes. Oh, or oh, cause I see. Okay. lear. Yeah. <laughs> cool. yeah. King lear. Yeah. Shakespeare. Yeah. Shakespeare totally can. No. Um, how many times a day can this 
ability be used? Uh, let me look it up, one second. Wow, this is cool. Improving oh, the glare. Like... Okay. Um, I mean, second. if you get Yeah, I feel like yeah. it'll mine. Uh, we don't get the most once spells. per long rest, you may change I'm one I'm not going to cast Hex and make it, like, Dex. Yeah, so yeah. Just, just cast Dex no. on me. Dex! Yes! Lex! <laughs> Evo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> once per long rest, you may change one letter of a spell to create a different effect. For example, instead of casting Cause Fear, you can cast, say, Cause Bear. Roll 1 to 100 to determine how close the spell is to the desired effect. Do you have any idea how dangerous it is to give this ring to an obsessive personality that's, like I, me? That's why I Who's going to yeah. sit there and fuck every person? Change every... Of every word. <laughs> <laughs> your, wife, your wife's going to be able to be like, uh, so Russ has just graffiti all the time. <laughs> I've beautiful minded myself in my office. going to come what back here it? next week and be like, get my husband back to me. What though. isn't a Meyer ball? A Meyer ball could be so many things. <laughs> Uh, you may only cast a modified spell once, and then you must think of a different word next time you use this feature. And it's once per long rest, you said? And it's, and it's a plus one AC and saving throws. It's also a ring protection. Crazy. That's, that's, that's pretty just bad. really that's good. crazy. That's what you get. That's pretty bad. Wow. Well done. Now we got an extra alpha and bravo key. We can do nothing with it. Um, and now we can have this tea set, too. Yeah, he won't mind, right? No, the I'm the captain. I mean, the conductor. <laughs> the, uh, whatever Don't that battle is. <laughs> the, uh, the super super secure safe is like open. It's like it's, it's satisfying to be open like, finally. Isn't just it? just take it. <laughs> just take it and get out. I failed. No, you you've done great. You're great. Thank you. I love I, you. I I I, I, hmm. I stroke it. I'm like. Been a great job. Don't condescend me. <laughs> do you want? To, I don't know. Do you want to come with us? Super secure safe. I can't. I'm just a safe. <laughs> we can put you in a bag of holding and take you with us. You, you would. <laughs> sure. You might come in handy at a later. Can you close up again? Of course. It close, it closes right up. Would you like to? <laughs> <laughs> would you like to work for like an inn, someplace where you can hold important things all the time? Uh, of course. Yes. Absolutely. Give me purpose. Give me purpose. Let's see. <laughs> can we can we fit him in our like undersized bag of holding that we have? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, great. We can take him. <laughs> All right, it's yeah, it Sweet. just fits inside. It's, okay. it's a big chest, but you can fit it inside the bag. Sweet. All right, cool. Sweet. What do you? <laughs> I'm madness. I'm going to put this ring on. Is that okay? Please. Uh, and now we have this tea set as well. Tea set. Oh yeah, yeah. With emeralds. Conductor nab the tea set. You do have tea set. The tea set is worth a uh, thousand gold. Sweet. Wow. Cool. That tea set is worth a thousand gold. Yes. Love it. Emerald tea set, worth a thousand gold. Okay. What do you do? Uh, let's have a party. <laughs> I'm well, satisfied. We, let's go back. We well, did. Cool. Well, you guys we have, have to a keep party reading another... over <laughs> our, <laughs> our pamphlets. Do you, wait, do you have to attune? Um, I cast identify on it, right. so I don't know if that means I still have to attune to it. You don't have. You, I, can I just one put it does, on right now? One does have to attune to it. Right. But, For it to start working, in other words? Can yes. I start using it today or no? Yes. We can hang out for an hour and... No, it just takes a, my rule is a minute to attend. Okay. Just take oh, a minute sweet. to attend. So I'm, I'm wearing it. Okay, cool. You got yes. it. I, I mean, All right. I have no spells left right uh, now. You also find two potions of greater healing inside there. Great. Oh, can, uh, I, can I cast a general perception in the room? Yes. Uh, what are you looking for? I don't know. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Whatever I find. Uh, 10. You find nothing else. A uh, procedural question. Mm -hmm. Can I use the grammarian ability on spell scrolls? Oh, that is a good... Yeah, why not? Yes. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I love it. Yes. Um, cool, cool. Uh, <laughs> I'm just imagining all this stuff. <laughs> God. He, he asked that with a specific spell. Yeah, it's, it's totally <laughs> fine. I get it. Uh, where are we going now? You going to the next room? To the helm? Uh, Dart says, only the helm lies next. Well, I yeah. guess we should go. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, ooh, yeah, I could do it from here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I need to do it here. Oh, no, no. Mushroom. Damn it. Do, do, do. One, two, three, four, five. Do we guess as he's drawing or? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, cool, cool. There we go. All right. Uh, it's close quarters, this whole thing. I need to get over here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. 
Now wait, there's gonna be some kind of big bad in here? Mm. Small bad? Mid bad. <laughs> It's Vegeta. <laughs> it's Vegeta, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. It's a mean train. Those are all cooking. Don't touch them. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Still need to draw more. Still need to draw more. It's Lots of fire. things. Lots of things. Okay, there's that. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. All right. As you open the door here, you see a lot. Uh, the helm of the equestrian lies before you. Here, the spasming uh, circuitry of some massive lightning mechanism glows and pulses. Uh, you see up ahead, this is like the front of the train, smashed into this glacier. A lot of it's broken, but up ahead, you see on the ground, there appear to be pulsing runes. Uh, this has kind of got no ceiling. This is like um, you just see glacier above this, like this is just glacier. And then okay. right there, there's a ceiling. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, cool. You see pulsing runes on the ground. Up ahead right here is a spasming lightning field, like a lightning wall. Uh, ahead of that, you can see some sort of strange, uh, enormous box with all these runes, covered in runes. You see three levers uh, to the right over there. And up ahead, you see a portal where you see inside the portal is a giant cog spinning. Huh. Hmm. One of those remote engines. Uh, Dart, Dart looks and says, oh my, I do not recollect any of this. Something, is, something terrible has happened. Obviously those are traps, right? You're asking us, Dart? I have no idea. Well, why? Do you think this is terrible? It looks very dangerous. And also, that would hurt me very much. Have you ever been into the conductor's compartment before? Very rarely. As before I said, I was uh, strictly used for cleaning purposes, uh, tiny ventilation shafts to, and the like. Mm. Um, I'd like to take a coin. Uh-huh. And see if I can throw it through the lightning uh, Fence and hit the uh, the console. So it's not a lightning fence. Think, think like think like just lightning wall, just like spasming lightning wall uh, energy field right there. You chuck the coin. Okay. You chuck the coin. Uh, it goes as it hits the wall. Uh, it hits the ground around it. Starts to roll and clink. And then, but there's lightning energy on it, and you can see it partially roasted this coin. Like there's still energy like popping off of it. Okay. The runes. Um, I think these are like controlling this. Yeah. So we likely. gotta like do. And FYI, I, I'm still wearing the uh, the lightning resist ring. So just walk right through. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> You'll I'm be fine. Sure, right? <laughs> it's only half damage. Um, yeah. Um, just in case anybody wants the... to run experiments, you might want to wear it. Okay. Wait. Because <laughs> <laughs> you want to experiments, I'll give it to you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm happy to like um, do. Can we do an arcana check on the the nearest room? Give me an arcana check. Go ahead. Yeah, do it. That's terrible. That's like an eight. I'll try. Eleven. I'll uh, try as well. Uh, okay. I'll allow one more. One more try. Go ahead. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen will tell you that there's a lot of lightning energy associated with everything here, uh, and fourteen will tell you that these are definitely traps, um, and there's a there's a lot going on, but you don't know the nature even with the fourteen. Um, using my disarm trap. Ability, can I get a sense of how difficult a disarm would be, or do I even have anything that I could 
obviously disarm right now. Um, you could uh, you could potentially disarm these runes, possibly. Uh, you don't know about the energy field, but you could okay. potentially disarm a rune. I will try. You've heard of runes that are that are dangerous when you step on them. Can I mage hand to try to disarm the the nearest rune right there? Give me a check. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. I mean, I hope so. Um, what is that? That's a twenty-three. 23, as you're attempting to like splice open the magical weave uh, threads here, you notice that there aren't any. Something's, something's wrong. This appears to be illusory. Hmm. As you try to disarm this one. Mm -hmm. Illusory. Um, try that one. <laughs> okay. I'll try this one. Uh, go ahead. Oh, actually, I'm gonna say, mm. oh boy. Yeah, go ahead and say I guess that was terrible. Uh, it, you try, and the same thing happens. It appears to be an illusory rune. Mm. Can I roll a general perception on the rune? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, 20. Dirty 20. Um, I will say with a dirty 20, as you're kind of looking around, you see uh, there's more to this rune than meets the eye. There's little flecks of energy coming out at various spots in the room, but you can't quite tell where they are. Does anybody have, like, seen visibility or anything like that? I have devil sight. Does she see anything? <laughs> Do I see anything? There doesn't, there doesn't appear to be anything in the darkness. This is all beautifully lit yeah. by lightning Ooh. energy. Um, do, does the identifier ritual do me anything with this, these illusory runes? Uh, if you sit there for 10 minutes, you can use the identify spell on it. Yeah. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Uh, you'd have to, you'd have to, you would have to get next to it. Yeah, okay. Okay. You get next to it, and as you do so, you light up a rune that is invisible. <laughs> oh my god. Right here. Oh. Uh, give me a... Uh, and as soon as, as soon as you hit it, it is gone. It like... Uh, it's used up, essentially, the magic here. Give me a um, check. With a plus one for your thing. You do have a plus one for your yeah. thing. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh -huh. Let's see. <laughs> Give me a strength or constitution saving throw, please. Ugh. <laughs> That's not what I was hoping for. Okay, we'll do a con save. Uh, seven. You take. Uh, not a lot. I rolled very poor. Six, so you're lightning resistant, right? Yep. You take three points of lightning damage. Okay. And then All that right. rune is gone. It's great. Yeah, Sean. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, did getting stunned by that thing give me any insight into being able to find more hidden rooms like that in the it, room? It appears they're invisible. It appears uh, you're dealing with illusory runes and then real ones that are invisible. Cool. Um, I'd like to take another coin and toss it right here. You toss a coin right there. Um, you toss a coin right there. Uh, nothing happens. Nothing happens if you cause, toss a coin right there. I'll just right. keep tossing I'll, coins. I'll go ahead and step here. And step there. Uh, nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> there should be a room there. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to now do the identify ritual on this illusory rune. The illusory runes are just that. As you cast identify, they appear to be runes. It's just literally like images. Mm -hmm. There's nothing magical to... Uh, you cast identify on this one. Nothing, nothing okay. to it. These are phony baloney, you guys. But as you can see, there are actual rooms elsewhere. Um, I will say also with a 20, because you rolled a crazy perception, you can see that the current here on that wall leaves spaces every now and then to jump through. Okay. It would require some finesse, but oh you boy. could jump, you could try to jump through there. <clears throat> yes. That's cool. an option. You just, that is an option. Okay, okay. Um, let's see. So, um, it would be great, yeah, so a, a way to kind of test the floor, because if anything jumps out, we're gonna be moving around in this sort of minefield, right? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I'm happy to disarm them, so long as I have hit points to do so. Sure. Yeah. In a circle, what do I yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I have, um, let's see, wait, I'm just gonna see if I have like a dagger or something that's heavy, but not too heavy. What's going on? Oh god, something else is happening. DM inspiration. A DM inspiration? What did I roll? 
he needs another chance to shock me, <laughs> to electrocute me. I'll take it. I'll take a DM, DM inspiration. I have a DM inspiration to be used when I make it. Okay. I have okay. a. Uh, Thanks a lot, guys. I have a. I have a. Unless I'm using the rules. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a, a three pound hammer in my pack. Yes, you do. And I want to toss it uh, right here. You toss it right there. You son of a gun. You used a metal thing, didn't you? Oh. Uh, this thing lights up, so there was a rune there. It is now no longer there. So I'll just put a blast mark, because a rune lights up. Uh, and it hits the metal parts of the hammer, lighting it up. Okay. Nice. Can I just mage hand? collect that hammer and start dropping it all over the place. You drop it all over the place, you blast a couple more places, like there and right there. Uh, and that's that's it. Those are all the rooms. You hit in other places, that's what happens. Sweet, sweet. Well done. What else do you do? The wall of lightning is still there? The wall of lightning is still there. What the um, can we Can we investigate <laughs> to determine like how reliable this gap Appears to be to be, and whether we can fit through it, uh, it's literally like the perception check was enough that you you can try to make an athletics acrobatics to jump through it. That's one thing you could possibly try to do to get through it. Okay. Well, there has to be another. What about the? Is this the only one that we didn't check? You did not check that one. Can we check this one? What do you want to do? I'll, I'll go ahead and walk up to it and do my identify. Uh, this one is a this one is a healing room. It will heal you if you step on it. Oh, nice! Does nice. anybody need that? <laughs> I uh, need one hit point. Yeah. So. I mean, I just took a little zap. I'm okay. I mean, one one of us. I mean, like, uh, I could use it, but I, I feel like we should probably save it until after we try jumping through this lightning. Oh, for sure. That's a good idea. Yeah. What do you do? Um, well, all right. But I'm there's got to be some other way. If... I'm gonna just. I'm gonna activate my last blade song. Cool. Which gives me advantage on acrobatics checks, and uh, I'm gonna try to make it through that gap. Give me a jump. Oh wait, wait, wait! Before you go, before I, you go. I think dramatically he jumped before. No, uh, I'm gonna no. try and stop him. Can I, I got, try and wait. stop him Don't before? Don't try to stop me. I got a 16. 16 Dude, no. 16 is uh, what you need. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> Uh, just beautifully, you hop. You know, okay, does even... anyone else have really good athletics acrobatics <laughs> with uh, advantage? Oh, you have, you want to use the portal? Yes, <laughs> I want to use the portal ring. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed, I want to use the portal ring. But the thing is, oh, like, God. I don't think you can give me the portal ring, and I can just start making portals with it because it's like a tune to you. No, know it's I mean? no tune it. Really? Yeah. Anyone can just instantly start making portals with it? Yes. Oh, wow. It's like she had a plan the whole time. All right, I jump back. I jump back. <laughs> really? You're really? gonna jump back. You're gonna jump back. <laughs> I love you so much. What the hell? Yeah, 24. You again. <laughs> wow. Wow. This time. All right, you're our only hope. <laughs> uh, what do you do? What's Play with our emotions. Yeah. What do you call those, Alyssa, where it's just a... Um, oh, like a side aerial? Side aerial through it. Yeah, thank you. Okay, great. You do a side aerial. Okay. Sorry. Make a portal give you the ring. Are you going to jump through again? The problem is I have to take off one of my very, very useful rings that I'm wearing right now. Are you have you wearing 10 rings? I <laughs> thought you could only wear two rings at once, right? You have lightning resistance. How many things do you have? The other one's the new Grammarian ring thing. Oh, that's right. Which I would have plus one. Uh, saves. You have. I would allow you three rings if you want. Okay, you great. Want three rings. Great. I got three fingers. Three rings on. Okay, great. All right, we're done. Sweet. Um, <laughs> don't ring. Uh, I'm. Wait. I need to make a portal here first, right? I don't want to do this <laughs> yeah, extra yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. Portal. Okay. You create a portal there. Cool. Create a portal. All right. I'll jump through again. Yeah, that's uh, you 25. Make it through. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool, this time you do make a, nice a frontal portal. backflip through it, and you make it through <laughs> on the other side. Awesome. Make another portal. Uh, I'll make, I'm going to make a portal right, right there. You make a portal right there. Awesome. I will go through this little portal. You can have the healing thing. If you need it. Uh, OK. So I, I probably shouldn't take the ring off, because the portals might like disappear. Yeah, just right? wait until everyone so we'll comes just, through. And, we'll, uh, and it lasts for 10 minutes or something? Yeah. We might need it. I don't know. Okay, uh, you get you, if you step on there, you get healed for. Whoa! Wow, a lot. How many are you down? Uh, I am down. As a patcher, I saw uh, e twelve. You get healed all of that. Sweet. As a patcher, all healing is shooting. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. I'll get through here. 
We got more more runes now. You guys pull to the other side. All right, uh, I'll take that see? ring back, buddy. Well, I'm just see. This is what I was saying. Was like, we still have a way back if we need a way back. If I take off the ring, I don't know if the, the portal way back is going to disappear. Oh, gotcha. That's um, what I was saying. No, it wouldn't. It's ten. It's there for ten minutes. Okay. Okay. You're going to concentrate Thank on you. it. So it's there for ten minutes. <laughs> Thank you for your services. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Acrobatics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see a strange box there, um, and then a portal to some. Uh, you could see figures in the distance in that portal, but it's all hazy and difficult to make out. Mm. What do you do? Uh, can Dart come with through? Dart will come through. Yes. Okay. Does Dart know anything about these? Uh, he waters? says. Dart says those are new. I can only assume they are part of the traps here, or perhaps. They are new mechanics. I, I do not recognize them. Okay. Can I check? Are they uh, levers? What are they? They are levers. There are three levers on the walls. Okay. Um, and in the junction box, or this thing? There's there's a strange, like, uh, three foot by three foot, three foot by three, yeah, three by three box right there with all these runes all over it. They look like, like lightning runes, like the, like the runes you've seen over here as well. I see. Uh, Can I do an arcana check on the, the other rune box? You certainly can't. Go ahead. 24. 24 to t- will tell you that this is... 22, play. sorry. 22. 22 will tell you that this is some sort of defensive box. Uh, meaning it's... it it. 22 will tell you that this houses a living spell inside of it. Oh. A guardian living spell. Oh. Dangerous. We don't want to set this one up. Unless... We do. <laughs> <laughs> now, counterpoint. <laughs> I was just reading runes. Don't mind me. Just do whatever you want. Silly man. What do you, <laughs> what do, you do? I'm real curious. Um, did, so, did the arcana check give us any sense of how to manipulate the levers, or no? No. You you could uh, you can make me. History. You can make me history or like artificer checks on the levers. They're, yeah. they're very like. Futuristic in terms of what you know. Uh, can I try history? You can try history. It'd be rough, but you can try. Uh, eight. I don't know. I'll try history. I'll, I'll take this last roll. Seventeen. Seventeen will tell you uh, that the middle lever is malfunctioning, but it has to do with the lightning field. Okay. That's what you know. Uh, sorry, flip the levers. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how I go through life. Is it, that, so presumably that will shut off if if, if, if we got yeah. it to shut off, we could shut off the, the lightning wall. But I don't know that that's not Wind a it, priority yeah. really. No. Seventeen will also tell you like th- there's a way you can try and fix the middle lever, but you need like you could you could use your thieves tools to try and fix it. Okay. You could, but it'd be it'd be tough. You could try if you I'll, wanted to. I'll I'll try. Okay. If I have a sense that I can do something useful. Okay. I'll try. Mm, Twelve. Uh, 12 is going to fail the, uh, oh boy. Okay. Oh, wait, seconds. I have a Sigillion inspiration. <laughs> you, you have a Sigillion inspiration. I do. <laughs> Are we allowing this? Well, we're allowing this. You can roll, a, roll, you can roll again. again. Insanity. <laughs> Insanity. Thank you so much. Yes. So the, the chat is now embodied within the yes. game. The chat is right now in the game. The soul of the chat is here. Ah! Ooh! I'll take it back. Ooh. Ain't that how it goes, oh. Ain't that just uh, the way. Oh my god. Shut it down, baby. Shut oh, I'm down. sorry. For Sigillion, I always forget. You could add... Yeah, we gotta I, take it. I would have What's added. What's happening now? I would have added a plus 10. Another Triple, thing is happening? Triple inspiration. <laughs> Another Sigillian inspiration is being used. Empower the trap. You may use plus 10 or you can roll again. Well, my first roll was a like an 12. A 12. Was it 12? I it was oh, 12. Oh, well, oh, then I'll, I'll certainly take a plus 10 to that. You disable this, you disable the malfunction on this. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. For, the, for use of two Sigillian inspirations, that is now disabled. <laughs> Good and God. you are not blasted with a crap ton of fire damage. Oh, my God. Woo. Would what would you like to do? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. So this, that disabled the living spell within the thing? No, it has oh, to do with the no. lightning field. That, the but lightning you field would have unleashed the thing. Yeah, yeah. But the lightning field's still on. It's it just, is still on. What okay. would you like to do? Still on. Good God. <laughs> this room. 
Maybe, I mean, yeah. what are we gonna call Maybe we can flip some switches now. I feel like we should have done a, a Spock in uh, Star Trek 2 where he just goes in and deals with the radiation all by himself. Yeah. <laughs> and spares everybody else. What would you like to do? Um, so wait, this le- middle lever is fixed now? It's fixed, yes. So no. now we could, now do, we could do you wanna pull it? flip it. Do you wanna pull it? Should we do that? Yeah, yeah, Turn yeah. Turn the thing on? Yeah, you pull it. That's, uh, the field just drops. Great. Nice. Uh, can I, may I test this? Uh, what, the... What are you doing? The field, are you gonna r- run back and forth? No, no, I just wanted to switch it again and see oh. if, it, if it just turns back on. You, oh, okay. You switch it again, it turns back on. Yeah, I turn it back it's, on. It's, okay, good. Um, do you guys want to go to more safety? What? Like, back up? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to back up? Yeah. Oh, why, because are we gonna flip more I'm switches? gonna start... Pulling levers? <laughs> Fixing, fiddling, pulling things. There's no right, need for you okay. to stand here and take it in the face, whatever happens. So should we, uh, we're, we're back backing up, up a little back bit? Back up. Boop, 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 Especially boop, poor Dart. He didn't like the looks of this room at all. Uh, Dart steps back and says, what, what, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to do more fiddling with this extremely dangerous mechanism. Very You're well. Talking. You hear trepidation in his voice. <laughs> <laughs> um, do I get the sense that thieves' tools will have any use on these other two levers? They don't. Your seventeen will tell you they're not malfunctioning, but you don't know their their purpose. And the Arcana check didn't tell us, and the History check didn't tell us. I mean, we could just go into this random portal, but we could just jump in the portal with the gears. With the gears, but are we not curious about the Living Guardian? I look, yes. at, I look at Dart. So the the, uh, the rooms, they, they're not. Uh, Dangerous. Familiar. Appears to be a guardian thing. I would stay away from it. Um, can I do an arcana check on the portal to see if if us going through it would trigger another trap? Uh, give me an arc- arcana check on the portal. Go ahead. Twenty-three. Damn. Twenty-three. You step up to the portal, and as you as you're looking at it, you see in the distance you can make out a little bit of forms. They are members of the host temperament. You see their robes. There's some sort of ritual going on in there. You see mechanical things at the at the middle of a gigantic spinning cog. Uh, you can tell that this is a portal that leads there, but it has no effect on anything else. There's no, it's, the portal isn't trapped or anything. Gotcha. Well, should we run in there and kill everybody? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, getting pretty toasty. Sounds like a good idea. Do you, you want to like be run a in there and be like, "Hey guys!" Yeah. Do we see anybody in there that we recognize, like the conductor? Or you, um, uh, you step up. You do not see anybody in there you recognize. Mm. No, you do not. You see, there's, there's some sort of strange mechanical contra- contraption at the middle of the the room, but nothing else. What do you do? Um, make, make quick. We got to take a break. <laughs> What do you do? Uh, oh, can, can we ask uh, Dart to take a look through and see if he recognizes anything? Uh, Dart g- walks up to the to the top there and says, "Ah, these are the people uh, who uh, sabotaged and uh, and killed all of my friends." Oh, no. Oh. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the third and penultimate charge of the Viper and go invisible. You go invisible. Yeah, foot of, yeah. invisible. I walk through. Sweet. Uh, we're gonna take a five minute break, everybody. That is it. Let's take a let's take a quick five minute break. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, let's take a fiver. Hello, 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 everybody. Uh, we are back. One second. Uh, I want a quick shout out before we before we get back to the action. Uh, quick shout out to our friends at 1985 Games. They've given us so much stuff, so much swag. Uh, they deserve a lot of respect. They sent a few, a few care packages, which we use. We, we've used at a, a, a cat charity just recently, uh, and we have some. So go check them out. Uh, here's a cool battle map that they have. It's super rad. Uh, Russ, if you could showcase this, please. Uh, I will be using this in the next campaign. I'll be doing Azure Sky with these folks, and this is their cool like ocean map. Look at that. Beautiful. Super rad. Uh, go check out Dungeon Craft. Go check out 1985 Games. Uh, and also, because I love it so much, here's our Planescapers flag, because it's so rad. Hey. Let me do it this way. I, I know the guy who made that. Yeah, this is <laughs> uh, Corey White. Uh, thank you, thank you so much, Corey. Uh, this has Nim, LL, and Grammaticus names on it, as well as the Tozzy Bug. We appreciate that, Corey. Um, thank you, thank you. Uh, we very much appreciate it. 
Let's rock, guys. We're we, need, do this. we need an anthem for this. I was just thinking. Yeah. <laughs> remember that, remember that, 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 uh, that game, Crossfire? Crossfire. Yeah. Crossfire. <laughs> Crossfire. <laughs> what do you think like that, but for planes? Wow! Yeah, exactly. so really yeah. simple. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> we are also almost ready to reveal our Dice Tower. Our 30, 33 initial subscribers are going to be on our, our new Dice Tower. I saw some pictures of it. It's super rad. I'm going to have a Dice Tower that I can throw a whole bunch of damaged dice into uh, and be super evil about it. Um, <laughs> it's, it's looking fabulous, and it's going to be here in a couple weeks. I can't wait. All right, back to the action. First up, first thing that happens, uh, crazy wackiness. Uh, it wasn't supposed to be a trap portal, but it is a trap portal. <laughs> you all go through the portal, and suddenly you're in this strange spirit realm <laughs> where you suddenly can't see each other. You look down, and you're... Your own bodies are ghostly. It's spectral. You're in some strange astral realm. You could see the portal that you're going to is, is looking like it's stretching farther and farther away from you. Makin, you can see them all. It's a good. You, you can see all <laughs> them. You can see all them, but you know something's wrong because you can see how they can't see each other. They look like wandering souls. How do you help them? Um, what do you do? I don't. I let them figure it out. Oh, God! (laughs) Oh, creature of madness, why? Why did I bring you? (laughs) Chaos! I'm like, Uh, curse you, devil (laughs) side! You never were! (laughs) When does she, this girl, to get to see some devils? I want to see some shit! (laughs) If this were a dimension where you were to help them, how would you help them? (laughs) Otherwise, Um, they're doomed. (laughs) I I would... Probably beseech my goddess to allow me to tie their essences together to entwine them. Awesome. So wow. you you get a oh, that's so cool. Give me um. Wait, that would never have occurred to me. Before. You uh, <laughs> the voice of death mm-hmm. says, "I am not ready for them. Let their essences touch. You must physically embrace them." Do we hear this? No. <laughs> What do you do? Not good. Um, I propose myself forward to the closest one, who is LL. You find LL. Okay. You're like floating in an astral plane, so you, you fly to him. What do you do? Uh, I say, hold on to this, and I grab, I hold him out of a string. Excellent. And then I kick off of him and <laughs> I try to fly to Nim. Yes. And then I hand you another string and say, don't lose this. And then I fly to <laughs> Graham Graham. Excellent. <laughs> yes. Uh, this is yours. As you're holding on to this, there's a connection, and your power siphons through the string, and you suddenly all can see each other again as the trap uh, dis- it, it ceases to function. Uh, you, the spirit, the spirit realm starts to fade, and the portal you're going to uh, encapsulates you, and you are now in the strange realm of Mechanus. All around you, and for as long as you can see, it's just cogs and gears spinning endlessly into infinity. Mm. You see a mage here working on some some con- uh, some construct. Uh, one second. Uh, an absolutely bewildering array of energized clockwork gears spin and move in the strange kaleidoscope of organized mechanical mayhem. Uh, there is a there is a mage in a host temperament robe working on some sort of strange construct there. You see a bunch of chanting cultists all around them. I ask Dart to analyze the construct. Uh, Dart, you guys are like above. You guys are uh, probably about 20 feet above all of them. Okay. Uh, you think you have not too much time before they see you. Uh, Dart, Dart quickly looks at it and says, um, uh, strange, an apocalypse creation. Uh, it diagnoses the end of the multiverse. They are exceedingly rare. I would hope so. <laughs> uh, what do you do? You have but a moment. Uh, okay. I'm gonna, while I'm invisible, I'm gonna try to move to a flanking position. Um, awesome. Can I just hop across from this gear to this gear and then over to over here? Excellent. However yes. far I can, I can make it. You jump down. Uh, you like hop, literally climb this thing. Uh, as you get there, this mage looks. Uh, and turns and turns and looks at you. Uh, she raises a hand, and crystals appear out of the gears, not unlike the ones you fought before. Mm. 
as as they appear, I want to turn to Grandbreak and say, "My goddess has told me that the time and place of your death is not this or now. <laughs> Be as reckless as you want." I go, "Sweet." <laughs> Dorn says, "That's not how any of this works." <laughs> I love it. Okay, uh, the mage looks at you and says, "Ah, the parabola. You have arrived. Like termites, you are. Inevitable, inevitable termites. You see what we are doing here. You see what we do with the blood of this wakener. He, like you, is inevitable. There is no stopping the heat death." You fought our creations before, you will fight them time and time again, but we are endless. Uh, and she like, po- uh, she points to some of the cultists who you see, now, now that you see like, she points to like two of these guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're in the cleansing flame robes, except they're just undead. Uh, and she points to them and she says, there is no room for other organizations within the host temperament. They will be cleansed. There is no room for fire with Zagoliath. He is the never-ending ice. Do you not see? Do you, you're still the conductor, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just playing with my mustache. <laughs> great, great. What do you do? She, uh, she says, I will give you one last chance to renounce your parabola. Your idiotic gnomes who do nothing but delay the inevitable. I, I raise my hand. And I say, I would like to renounce the parabola, uh, and I and I walk down. Give me a deception. Yes. Give me a deception check. Okay. I hope that it's a deception check. This is going to be a very <laughs> different. Like campaign. This is a very yes. different campaign. Nine. Okay. You say I would like to renounce. You jump down. Uh, there's a smile on her face, and she says, "Really." What about it? What about the parabola irks you so, strange tiefling? Well, um, you know, I've always been a little opposed to their pay structure, which frankly has been a little <laughs> less than transparent. I had hoped to rise within the ranks. Hey, here I am, throwing myself into traps like some sort of weird tank. You're and getting I- paid? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, she says, uh, she says uh, we offer you more than wealth. We offer you, uh, we offer you the, the embrace of the beautiful one. He comes last, do you understand, at the end of time. He is throughout, and with this, as she holds, she presses her hand against this, she, uh-huh. says, she says, we will figure out the apocalypse code. It is there, the numbers, Twirling around Mechanus, as you see before you, we will figure it out. So, uh, <laughs> so the, you're referring to the dead god. He's going to show up after the end of everything. Uh, he will waken the thing at the center of everything, and then we will become pure, pure like unto him. He who he who cannot die will awaken all of us. What can I tell about her? and her vulnerabilities by looking at her. She looks like she's straight up all about this place. Like she, her robe, uh-huh. it looks like a host temperament ice robe, but it's all, it's all got cogs and different like spinning wheels all up in her robe. She looks like she's like a steampunky mage. Oh. Yes. Um, oh, uh, do you have any pamphlets or any literature or anything written down that I can learn about your movement, your, your your whole cult thing. She, she says, cult. We are no cult. We are believers. And I grow tired. I grow tired of your insults. You who are inevitable. Uh, everybody roll initiative. Oh, can I just say, while they're having that conversation, and yes. I'm just chilling over here. Yeah, what do you do? I'm coating three of my crossbow bolts in giant spider venom. <laughs> okay, great. Nice. They are coated in giant spider venom, awesome. Uh, and, I should have. and I'm whispering to Nim, Malachi could totally take her. <laughs> <laughs> 16. 18. I'm just, 18. I am the conductor yeah. staring the opposite. Graham, you're at 18. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> you're like, well. I don't know. Graham, you're at 18, is that what I heard? 18. Okay, uh, Kyle, where you at? Six. Cool, cool. 
Uh, well, that would be it. 16. Cool, cool. Nim? 19. Yeah. Whoa. Look at me go. Okay, let me roll some things for myself. Oh, pretty bad. Okay, cool. Yep, I'm exactly where I need to be. Okay, cool. Uh, Nim, what do you do? You okay. see, you see the, uh, you see Arithra. She introduces herself as Arithra. Okay. Uh, a mage of Mechanus, the host temperament. She uh, presses on to this creature, and you see a planesky beacon in its back, acting as a battery. And as she presses, uh, a blue field surrounds this creature. Um, your teammates probably told you something about these crystals having the blood of this dark god, uh, and they make this creature invulnerable. Uh, okay. And she touch, she enacts that essentially. Got it. So we got to destroy the crystals to destroy the thing. Got it. Okay. Um, you do? Well, for, which one of these little guys looks the most squishy? They look like oh, they're all cultists with daggers. Like they're so they're all, like all really. They're squishy. all pretty very squishy. Yes. What do you do? I choose the squishiest one. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? And I hex it. You are hexing it. Just a random dude. Which one do you want to do? Um. I am so far away, I don't think I can get into melee range. Um, but I'm just, truly, it doesn't, this one. Okay. Whoever give it, looks give it a hex. Do it. the weakest. And then I'm gonna come Do it. as close as I can. Can you get me like just as close as I can? You can, yeah, you can hop down there. It's like 10 feet down, but that's like 30 feet already. Okay, yeah, you that's can probably, great. you could probably get to there. What do you want to do? Um, I'm gonna Eldritch Blast this one. Go ahead. Two times. Hopefully, Excellent. what is that? Okay. Do it. 19 to hit. 19 will hit, yes. Okay, and then that would be 10 damage. Uh, you blast his head off. Oh, great. <laughs> um, okay, well, I'm gonna, uh, what I'm gonna do here is raise it as a specter. <laughs> <laughs> Instant friend. Great. Awesome. Instant friend, and then I'll send my other blast towards someone else if that this one's, already worked. This one's now your specter. Awesome. Um, okay, and so then maybe this one. I'll, I'll Go ahead. Do it. Uh, 15? 15 is going to hit. Yes. I think uh, raising your specter just is bone. You could just quickly yeah, do that. Yeah, it right? doesn't cost anything. He's now yours. Awesome. That's a hit. Roll some damage. Six. You. <laughs> Is that guy dead? Let's see. <laughs> uh, one second. Uh, this guy is barely alive. I'm gonna put him out of bloodied. Great. He's hurt. Um, that will be my turn. I'm just gonna put, so I remember that that guy is mine. Can I put something on them? Yeah, give him a little magical effect or something. Give him a little... Yeah, that's yours. That's my okay, cool. Guy. Uh, whose turn? Oh, Nim, Graham, your turn. What you got, Graham? Okay, um, let's see. I'm going to uh, hop down here and uh, smash at the crystal with uh, with, uh, with my maul. Excellent. You jump down. Oh, you're attack. using your plus two maul. <laughs> yes! Do it. Yo, scrap! Uh, yeah. I, am, I rolling, am I rolling to hit? Yeah, give me, give me an attack. Right. Do it, bro. All right. Okay. That's a hit. All That's right. a hit. Roll some damage. Uh, Mauls is 2d6 plus your strength plus two. It's a plus two. Yeah, and it's bludgeoning because it's a maul. It's bludgeoning. What's your yeah. what's your damage with that thing? Uh, let's see. Wait, so so I, I see 2d6 plus six plus. No, just roll that. 2d6 plus six. Uh, ten. You do uh, uh, times two. You do 32 oh. points of damage to this thing. This Sweet. thing is badly, badly bloody. Yes. I mean, it's crack. It's it needs just like a little bit, a little bit to destroy it. Cool. Then I'll do it again. <laughs> uh, you smash it, it is gone. I rolled an 18, by the way. Oh, 18! Oh, God! 18! Get my eraser over there. This thing is destroyed. Cool, cool. Roll me a... <laughs> too many things. I make too many things Chaos. to make my life hell. Roll me a d100, please. All right. Uh, 66. Ooh. Ooh. 66. Mm, <laughs> yeah. 66 <laughs> is uh, a portal to hell. Oh, it is! Up. My favorite! <laughs> oh. My favorite kind of portal. Amazing! Let's start pushing people in there. Yeah. Uh, a portal to hell opens up. It'll stay there for a bit. And a succubus, like a like Sexy. devil comes out 
and blows a kiss to this cultist over here. Um, this is the one thing cultists have, which is that they have a dark devotion. <laughs> which means... You can't just convert them instantly. Yeah, which means they, have, they literally have advantage on saving throws against being charmed or frightened. Wow. So he has advantage. Uh, so this one makes it. Uh, he scoffs and spits at the devil. And then she like, Hmph! and then walks back in the portal. <laughs> but that portal's still there. There's a portal to hell now. Sweet. Cool. Awesome. Uh, that's... <laughs> There's a portal to hell with the succubus or just a portal to hell? You know, it looks like a portal to hell, man. Okay. It's real. It's just fire and brimstone all over the place in there. Uh, okay. Whose turn is it now, Graham? LL, LL, your turn. All right. I'm LL, gonna... can you make me, please, a oh. wisdom or charisma saving throw, please? Oh, dear. That was quick. Um, let's see. I don't think any of these are good. That's 10. Uh, you, uh, suddenly as the fight begins, you get, you are pulled back into the witch's grove. Uh, oh God! Where you gave up your dreams? Oh my God! Uh, you suddenly think back to the dreams you left. Some some dream, uh, some horrible dream of your grandmother probably torturing you. You see her suddenly coming for you. Oh my God! Uh, okay. She is there in real space, so no one else can see that. You see an image, a wraith-like image of your grandmother coming at you. LL. <sighs> What do you do with the rest of your turn? Um, I really, really don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna yeah. make up a spell to cast at her. What? <laughs> gonna make up a spell to cast at but her. But you haven't spent 12 hours in your room coming up with all the spells. No, but I have one use of this today, and I'm gonna use it right now. What is the spell? I'm gonna use my spell scroll of Witch Bolt, but I'm gonna cast Witch Belt at her. Which belt? Which belt? To constrain her! <laughs> it seems like the perfect thing to use in an angry, ghastly grandma. Here comes a, uh, a, a save, I guess? A witch belt? It'd be like a whole monster, so I'll say it's a save type. That is a nat one. Mm. I'm gonna use my DM inspiration. <laughs> he does not like that at all. <laughs> See what happens. That is still yeah. a fail. You use witch belt, yeah. <laughs> uh, and like the, um, uh, like, uh, if we can get dark, like a belt that was maybe used against you just suddenly appears, mm -hmm. a psychic belt, and it wraps around your grandmother, uh, and it pulls her out of existence, and she is gone. Yeah, take nice. that, Nana. <laughs> <laughs> her eyes are all milked out. <laughs> <laughs> you, you may no, no longer use witch belt. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, we'll say it works. Yeah, I love that. That's so awesome. Okay, cool. Um, whose turn? It is their turn. Okay. Uh, Arithra is going to cast a cloud kill at Nim and Grammaticus. I don't think it's going to affect your specters. This is going to hit right here. Um, I will say Dart will go on... Dart will go with you. Dart okay. will go on your turn. Yes. We're buddies. Uh, a, a cloud kill appears like right here. Uh, on your turn, it's bad news. Uh, and then she will jump to the other side of, she'll take, she'll take cover behind the construct there. Uh, the construct awakens. It's like the strange uh, cacophony of gears and horrid like flesh made real. Uh, it looks something like, do I have a thing for you? Please work. Yes. Looks like that. Wow. Ooh. Oh. It's a mech. Just a horrible mech thing of right. flesh and talons. Uh, it's going to, uh, it's going to stay there right now. It is um, your turn. It's Mackins, your turn. What you got? Um, There's a horrible gas cloud right there. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to avoid that. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> going around it, I'm going to, knowing she's hiding behind this, I'm going to cast Silence uh, to encapsulate all of this. Ooh, yes. Yeah, making, making bacon, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Silence happens right here. We like that. We like that. Where do you want to be? Uh, move me over toward that. Yeah, right there. Give me two concentrations. We got a concentration over here and a concentration right there. You're concentrating on that, right? That's what it does? Yes. Yes. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay, cool. Awesome. Cool, cool. All right, what else? Is that your turn? That's it. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I don't have any bonus actions or anything. Okay. Um, that's going to be problematic. It is the minion's turn. They rush. 
a uh, couple of these guys are crawling up to, are you still invisible? No. No, I use the spell scroll. That's right, okay. These guys are jumping up. Two of them will attack you. The other ones are coming around uh, to crawl up there. Um, these are coming to get you. Two of them are gonna attack you. Here comes two attacks on LL. Uh, 18. My AC is now 18. Uh, that is a 21 on Mackin. 20, oh, Mackin. Mackin, what's your AC? 15. Okay. Uh, you take you take three points of damage, you take five. Oh, sorry, you take three points of damage, five points of damage, and you both take an additional two points of cold damage as their, as their, um, uh, their daggers are laced with some sort of magical effect. Cool. Um, those are my turns. It is now back to the top. Nim, what you got? All right. Nim, you're in this. Yeah, give I want to get out of there. Give me a constitution. What? All of the cultists have magical daggers? They all have daggers that are somehow enchanted, yes. Excellent. All right. Uh, give me Speaking a... of loot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 for real. I'm like, all right, well. Con save? Give me a con save, please, yes. Hey, yeah, hey, hey. 19. 19 will save. You only take half. Here it comes. Oh, no. This is poison damage. Oh, no. 11, uh, 16, 20, 21. You only take 10 points of poison damage. Okay. Ouch. Awesome. And this is like, diff this is not difficult terrain, but it's, uh, you, uh, it is obfuscated. So this is all heavily obscured. What are you going to do? I got to get out of this poison cloud. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Blue. Cool. Um, and I want to get in melee range, but I am so far away from everyone. Um, I want to just take out a couple more of these guys. What are you doing? Well, I'll just blast this one. Okay. Um, but first, I'll bonus action hex it. Go ahead, give me a shot. So we'll see love what it, happens. Love it. 16 plus 7, I believe that would hit. Okay. Uh, One second. 23. Oh, Jeremy said, oh, you missed which molt to make her t make her tear her skin off. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that. <laughs> to make it even more terrifying. Yeah, that's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a hit. Uh, <laughs> what'd you get to hit? Probably 23. Hit. Oh, that's which don't. Yeah. To make her like, <laughs> stupid. What's that doing? Yeah. I don't know. Okay, and then I'll use my other one on this guy. Excellent. Uh, 17 plus 7, belt, 24. Shin, which belt to bring? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Confused by fashion. Oh, no, only one point of damage to You do guy? one point of damage to that guy. Ah, that's lame. Okay, cool. Um, and then I'm going to use my guy. Where's he doing? My guy's going to attack one of these cultists. Excellent. Oh, that one's dying. That one, well, he's a little hurt. Do you want to attack him? Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah. Okay. let's get him out of the picture. Give me a specter attack. Go ahead. Uh, what is this? Plus four to hit. Twelve? Ugh. Uh, Twelve is going to hit them. They're just in Oh, rooms. great! Okay. Roll some damage. Um, sorry, what am I getting to? What is my thing again? Life drain. Blah, blah, blah. Three D6 necrotic damage. Go ahead. Five, six. It's more than enough. Your specter comes over here and <laughs> sucks out his soul. Gone. <laughs> Thanks, specter. Good job. Um, how much movement did I take with this specter? I think like 15 feet. Okay, then yeah, they'll 20, start going feet. back this direction okay, as far as possible. Over there. Okay. Yeah. It can actually go engage. They have fly speed of 50. They're fast, right? Oh. Yeah, their fly speed is real fast. Yeah, 50 feet. Um, LL. Uh, no, Graham. Graham, your turn. What I mean, you got, Graham? I'm trying to get okay. over here. Uh, let's no, see. Okay. Uh, do, you want to, do you want me to keep going? Yeah, go past them if you want. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you can make it about there. Go. Okay. We got Graham. What do we get? We get 30 feet? You got um, 30 feet of movement if you want, yeah. Oh, okay. make me a con save. You're in, you're in cloud kill. All right. I rolled 21 for it. Let me, let me con save. Mm -hmm. Ugh, seven. You take 21 points of poison damage. Oh, my yeah. God. Damn, that's a lot. Oof. <laughs> but you can run away from this cloud kill. It's about to like fall through the gears. Wow. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, all right. Can I? Um, can I? While I'm moving, pick up the uh, enchanted dagger that this dead guy dropped. Um, you come over here, interact with it, pick it up, 
and the entire dagger just turns to an icicle, uh -huh. uh, and it's brittle, and it, it like breaks away as you grab it. Not disappointing. Um, it's, I, just, it's just cultish shit. It's <laughs> it's, it's not like, You're not a true believer. Yes, I don't. Right? <laughs> it's true. I am a bit of a skeptic. Um, all right, I cast a magic missile at the crystal. Rad. Okay. Yeah. Uh, roll me. If you have some spells left, roll me a three, four. Uh, I think three fours. Three d four. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, cool. Uh, two one three. Uh, that's two one three is five six nine points of damage to this thing. Cool. Still nine points. Cool. Uh, does that use up all my juice? That uses a, a first level spell slot. But yes, that's your action. You can keep going if you want. Uh, yeah, I'll keep going. Um, how much further can I make it? Is it five, uh, five, 10, 15, 20? That's about, that's about 25, it. 25? I think you're there, yeah. Okay. You go there, cool, cool. All right. Can I, uh, do I have a line of sight on her yet? You see her, yes. Okay. You can see her now, yes. Whose turn is it? Uh, it's my turn. What do you do, LL? Uh, I'm going to use my scroll of Agonazar's Scorcher. And cool. I'm going to place a line of fire right through these three guys. Nice. It's uh, a deck you, save. You, this guy's in your face, so you have disadvantage to do that unless you want to jump back. But it, it's it. just a deck save, though. Uh, oh, Agonazar's Scorcher is a deck. I'm thinking Scorching Ray. Okay, so yeah, deck yeah. saves. Here it comes. Uh, uh, DC 14. Okay, I'll say this guy's like climbing up, so here it comes. Fail, fail, and the guy climbing up ducks behind the, the gear. Okay, so it's half damage on a save, and it's oh, 22 damage. <laughs> Goodbye. You burn away all of them. Uh, from across the battlefield, I'm like, <laughs> um, is there a way for me to find a place where I can like duck behind this inner thing and hide on the side over here? Uh, it's kind of a flat gear, so there's no like pylon or like a cylinder that I can. Uh, I've noticed a trend where he makes every map anti rogue. I know. <laughs> He's doing it's a bureaucratic gear. Yeah. It's, it's a purely bureaucratic gear. <laughs> <laughs> That's another Adventures League inside joke. <laughs> Uh, it's tough to hide when they can, yeah, it's all flat, sorry. Okay, it's cool. I'm just gonna kind of flank further. Okay, cool. Into, up to this corner over here. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, it is the bad's turn. Um, this thing <laughs> jumps through the, through the silence and will. Uh -oh. It's going to use a breath weapon. Uh, it breathes ice. Um, it's using its Zagoliath power source, the planescaping beacon, to breathe a cone of ice. Roll me a dexterity saving throw, please. All on you, Nim. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not that I'm very dexterous at all. Yep, that's not good. What is that? Nine. That's gonna fail, you take uh, nine, 14, 19 points of cold damage. Oh, no. No. But does this sing ice, ice baby as it does? I forgot Dart. Dart's gonna come down. Dart, Dart, do something! Help me! <laughs> Dart will, Dart will dash there over for that turn, uh, and then the mage over here will uh, jump uh, to get over to this side and jump out of the silence and get out of the silence. Uh, let me see how. Let me see how. Oh God, what's happening? What's Sorry. happening? What's the help Probably. me on my deck save? <laughs> uh, you're getting another, another sigillion? Mm -hmm. Another sigillion, go ahead. <sighs> you have another deck save, go ahead. Oh my gosh, Eight. please, better than seven. <laughs> 16 That's plus, a save. Yay. yes! Nice. Instead of 19, they're just, they're just fickle gods in the chat <laughs> who are just hurting you and helping you. That's gonna be uh, just nine points instead of 19. Oh, great. Thank you, kind. Kind helper. Okay, um, I don't need that anymore. The mage will jump out of here, uh, cast a spell. Uh, she's out of the silence. You see her cast a spell and a portal uh, opens up right here. <laughs> Not to hell? Not to hell. Okay. Uh, this looks like a portal to the Feywild. And stepping out of the Feywild is Rackywack, the Buka. 
And she fought in like episode three or oh, four. We killed Racky Wack. Undead uh, Racky Wack <laughs> steps out and points a finger at you and casts a third level magic missile at you. Oh my god. Ooh, oh, Fucking ooh. dead, you guys. <laughs> Got nothing I can do about that. Uh, you have a shield left? No, I have no spells. Uh, this is gonna hit you, you take. <gasps> Look at all those four. Uh, 12, 16, uh, 18 points of damage, please. Ooh. Bad. Well, we have those rosary beads. We also have two greater healing potions. And two greater yeah, healing potions that I can throw. Uh, that is, that and is. And a cleric, but. And a cleric, <laughs> but a death cleric. <laughs> uh, the mage screams, Erythra screams. She says, do you see? Everything you kill, we will bring back. They are like Zagoliath. The blood never ends. He will wake it all. So if you kill us, will you bring, like, will Yay! we come back? <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> Now you're getting it. <laughs> uh, it is now uh, uh, Makin's turn. Go ahead, buddy. Um, well, things changed since the last time I had a plan. Um, <laughs> I'm going to point to the thing that just came out and blasted LL and be like, go away. And I'm going to cast command again. Okay. Um, on that one. Wrecky whack. May, oh. may he return to which, from which it came. Brad. Okay, here it comes. It fails. Uh, on it, does it happen right away or on its command, turn? Command, uh, used to be one word command, that's a lot of words. Um, <laughs> Sounds like you're reading the runes right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it happens on their turn. Okay, you just see the yeah. Rocky Wack turn and look at you go. Okay. <laughs> so it's about to step through its phone portal again. Uh, okay, and then for a bonus action, I can cast uh, Spiritual Weapon, yeah? Uh, you can, yes. Okay. Dart, Dart will hit two of these guys. He slashes and kills one, nice. and then jumps down and slashes and kills another. Nice, uh, Dart. Uh, you're casting a spiritual weapon. We're going to use a d12 for that bad boy. Here it comes. Uh, okay, where do you want this? Uh, between the two that are left. Well, and it's going to be a scythe, go of ahead. course. Nice. Um, I'll just cast that at first level. And then it's going to take a slash of the closest one to me. It's, I mean, it happened. Seven. Uh, Plus what? What'd you get? Six. Thirteen. That's a hit. Roll some damage. Hey! Nice. <laughs> um, to which woman? 28. Uh, Plus 28, yeah. Thing. That's a ten. That's an eight. Two plus four. Six. This guy. I do math. <laughs> bloody, but, <laughs> bloody, but still up. Excellent. Whose turn is it? The minion's turn. They're coming up. This one's going to move to attack you, Graham. And this one comes up. Oh, no, that's... Oh, God, I'm all out of cultists. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, not they're, they're at the back here. What's fresh, up? Fresh out at the back here. What do you mean? I, 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 for some reason, I thought they were in the middle. The, cult, the cultists go in the middle. No. Uh, they are after... The, yeah, they're right here. Yes. Okay, so Graham getting attacked. That's nat one. It's a miss. Completely misses you. I wish um, you can't die. Uh, <laughs> uh, that is a miss. I think I'm done. What, yes. Who's that bloodied one? Is that good a question? There's a, oh, sorry, you're right. This one's going to attack you there. Um, right, um, again, again. That's also a miss. Real bad. What's your question? Never mind. I realized. I just realized a mistake I made before. But uh, yeah, I've been cool. Uh, uh, it is now Nim, your turn. Okay. I'm gonna, I don't think I can hex one of those things. So I'm gonna hex this one that's concentrated. Yeah, do it. Uh, she's no, she, will, she drops actually the, um, the, oh, the uh, she's not cloud kill isn't doing anything anymore. It's gone. Okay, great. Cool. Um, well, I'm gonna Eldritch Blaster two times. Do it, do it, do it. 19 plus seven. That's a hit. And, uh, Mm, probably not. Twelve. Uh, Twelve is gonna miss. So That's one plus. of those will hit. Yeah, do it. Thirteen. Ooh. Ooh, nasty. Okay, she takes thirteen damage. And then I'm going to. Can I? Hmm. I'm gonna try and get like. Can I hop over here and go like this? Yeah. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Okay, I'll be over here. Excellent. And then um. My guy. Yes. Will come and hit this thing. Excellent. Give me a, give me a strike. I assume it's not that hard to hit. 
Oh, what's, what's happening now? <laughs> it's so many oh things. Oh my god! So much happening. <laughs> oh. Monster upgrade. Oh no. He's upgrading your specter. My specter? Oh! Nice. Your, your specter. <laughs> Your specter is being upgraded. Your specter just turns into a wraith. What? It suddenly, it becomes a wraith. Cool. I don't even know how to do what to do with that. That's um, awesome. It's basically, it's basically double damage, essentially, uh, cool. with an additional plus two to hit, plus two to everything, with, with additional. Um, you roll two more. Di- you t- roll two more dice, and then an additional plus two to out everything. This is fantastic. There you, go. <laughs> you guys are really like doing some real good work today. That is rad. That's super we know who the favorite rad. is. <laughs> uh, well done. Well done. Okay, what else we great. got? Well, it's gonna attack this thing. Okay. Uh, you cast your life. It, it, it uses its life drain on the crystal, and the crystal suddenly grows. What? As more uh, necrotic energy so, oh, uh, no. starts to grow it. Oh. Roll me, okay. roll me, uh, roll me your damage. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> it's gonna beef up the crystal. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you yeah, thought upgrade was a good God idea. God damn it! God damn it! So to, See, I've never fought these crystal things before. That's okay. I have no idea what's that's going what, on. I, no one's ever actually used necrotic damage on it. Okay. Uh, you know that's well, it's usually three d six, but now it's what? Five d six. Just roll five. Oh my god! Super yeah, crystal. Just do that. Very yeah. good. Very very good. You guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this um, is hilarious. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 17. You bump it up. You, it gains 17 temporary hit points. Cool. Because that crystal just suddenly gets stronger. <laughs> damn. Uh, we're God gonna keep damn. going, guys. Who's turning? Okay, well, this guy's gonna... Uh, how much movement did I use probably so far? Uh, you, can, you can keep going if you want. Do you want to go into her space? Um, no, we'll probably like go over here, actually. Okay. Okay, just cool, be cool. chilling. All right, who's turn? Go, go into her space. She's I gotta, can get there really quickly. But next I'm just turn. saying she's gonna try to cast spells, and it, it messes her up if there's if an there's enemy in right in her face. Yeah, oh, it's that's true. Yeah. Disadvantage. But you don't have to. Do it's up to you. And other stuff. Oh, okay, great. Okay, we'll send him in there. Okay, cool, 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 cool. If we uh, can find a way to shove her into the portal to hell, yeah, right? <laughs> That'd yeah. be appropriate. We'll just bring her over. Uh, Graham, it's your turn. Graham, what you got? Cool. Yeah, um, I'm going to uh, throw my trident at the mage. You, this guy, you have a disadvantage if you're in his range, you can move away, he's just a cultist, and then you can throw if you want. What do you want to do? He will uh, get an attack on you. Yeah, yeah, I'll move away. Okay, he's going to attack. That is going to miss you <laughs> with your AC, ridiculous AC. <laughs> uh, and then you throw your trident at her. Cool, cool, go ahead. All right, let's see. Uh, ooh, uh, 13 to hit. 13 is going to pank off of her mage armor. Okay, uh, I'm going to... Pull off my warhammer and throw that. <laughs> what about the dart? <laughs> the dart! The dart! dart. dart. Actually, <laughs> it's fucking dart. All right, I'll throw the dart. You get I'll okay. You get closer I'll to throw. throw the dart. Go ahead, give me a dart throw. Uh, all right. <laughs> I'm such a dart instigator. <laughs> Seriously, because you because it's not your. Uh, let's see. Uh, Eleven. Eleven is going to pank off and it lands like over here. Mm. Just spins over there. <laughs> That's gonna miss. Uh, Graham, that's your turn. LL, what you got? Um, can I use the Rosary of St. Cuthbert as a bonus action to heal myself? I or does it take a whole action? That's a whole action to use the Mask Cure Wounds. That's a bummer. But mask Cure Wounds. If you get within 30 feet of everybody, you can heal everybody. Yeah. Um, who needs to be healed right now other than me? I have mm-hmm. um, oh. 20 points use it. I'm all right. that I could use. Are you, you're right next to me, right, Noom? Yeah. Okay. And Graham? Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I wouldn't say no to twenty points of healing either. I, mean, I think we're in the same neighborhood. Right? Yeah. But you have you yeah. have less than I, me. I, so I'm afraid prepare. of walking right in between the two big bads, though. Yeah, I think it's bad for my health. I think you should heal. Um, okay, yeah. so I'm gonna use the rosary on the two of us over here. You use a mask your wounds. Yeah, so okay. it's 3d8 plus 5. If you get closer, you can hit Graham if he's hurt. Okay, for just sure. Turn, just letting you know, but you'd have to get down there. That's up to you. Yeah, but right, I would have to be like here or something. Yes, you would. That's an insane place to go. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's it is. insane. You have a giant monstrosity. I'm not gonna go there. Wait, did you use one of these um, last time as well, or I've never used this before? Okay, great. Okay, you use one. You have only two remaining. Give me a master of wounds. It's three d eight plus five. Yeah. What did I say? Uh, Twelve plus five, seventeen. Everybody, you, uh, oh, you and Nim both heal seventeen points. 
And I'll last your turn, you have a bonus action, you good? Um, I'm going to bonus action steady mm -hmm. aim so that I can have advantage on my next turn. Bonus action, can you do that with this bonus action? It's a, it's an optional ability for rogues where as long as I don't move during my turn, bonus then I have, a, I have advantage oh, cool. on the attack. cool, very cool. Okay, cool, on your next attack you have advantage. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Love it, it is the badge. She will uh, pull out a strange gear cube thing, switch some, uh, move it, it's like a strange Rubik's thing. She pulls it, and then a similar thing happens on this creature, and this creature looks, its eyes turn red, and then Dart's eyes turn red, and no! he, goes, he goes, I am so sorry. <laughs> Dart! And he pulls out, uh, he pulls out his haber halberd and looks at you. That is her turn, the big bad over here. This thing will jump over here and oh, starts again. to claw at you. <sighs> Good God. Here it comes. Uh, this is gonna be a bite and a slam attack. Oh no. What is your AC? 18. What did you say, 18? Yeah. That's two hits. Oh my God. Good. Uh, you take. Good thing I was just healed. Yeah. Probably would have died. No, uh, nine. Uh, nine and 13, uh, 21, 22 points of damage. Yeah, I would have been down, wow. so I think, or close to it. Let's see. What, 48 minus 22? All right, I'm at 26 now, so. Uh, let's see. Inspirations, can we hold only one of them at a time? Is that the rule? What do you mean? Who's got an inspiration? Oh, you do. I do, but I also have one from last from last time. Uh, you can that you can have a heroic inspiration, and what, what what do they give you? You can have them. I would say they don't stack. You have to use them to use them. But got it, got um, it, got it. Yeah, remember that. Yeah, uh, it's back up to now. Uh, McKinn's turn. What you got, buddy? All right. First thing is my spiritual weapon is going to try to take out the dude right there. No, no, the one that's excellent. Go ahead. Threatening me. Uh, plus se six, eleven. Uh, eleven because it's a flank that will hit. Hey, you take this dude out. Go on. Okay, uh, and then. I'm going to run away from Dart. Uh, as, yeah. Can I get to him? Uh, how, what's your speed? 30. You can get over here. It's okay, that's you fine. Um, and then I'm going to what's throw a spear at him. A spear? Yeah. Uh, so, you plus. you know, you've been told that this thing is invulnerable to damage unless these crystals are gone. Oh. You know that. I will say they've helped you out that much. <laughs> Well, then I don't have much of a plan. Um, <laughs> what you got? I will... What you got, dude? I'll call, I'll, uh, I'll cast hold person on it. Hold, per it's not a person. It's not a, a person? Card. Yeah. <laughs> she, she's a person, she's definitely a person. All right, then I will cast spirit shroud in preparation for going up against it. You cast. You don't cast whole person. You cast spirit shroud. Yes, because okay. I can't. Wait, can I see her? Yeah. Oh, then I'll. Oh, then I'll do whole person on her. Okay. What kind of save is this? Uh, one, which one are you bad at? <laughs> <laughs> what is? What is? Uh, save? Wisdom save. 14. Wisdom save. Here it comes. That was a nat twenty. <clears throat> I'm very sorry. That's I've, a save. I think you save. That is a save. Okay. That'll uh, be my turn. Oh, and then we want spiritual weapon up next to that one. Cool, cool. Uh, it is just the minion's turn. Uh, Dart dashes to to get to you. So what's on your heels? Uh, this cultist will come over there and attack you. It's got one left. That's a miss. Nothing. Uh, Nim, back up to you. All right. Oh, sorry. Um, and then this thing just shrugs and goes. Oh yeah. yeah. It goes away. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. It's a really good command. Um, uh, what you got, Nim? Okay. Well, I can't really move because this guy will hurt me. So I'm just gonna Eldritch Blast again. You have that I disadvantage because this thing's in your face. Hexed, well, I can't attack it because it's invulnerable. You could do the dodge action and then he would have disadvantage to hit you the next time. You could I'll do, do that. the dodge action okay. and then I'll use my little guy. We'll try to- Attack her. Attack her. Okay, do it. Give me an attack. Which will give me an extra plus two to the plus four, so plus six to attack her. Excellent, do it. 13, 19. That's a hit. Roll some damage. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, man. Here this comes. dummy. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, oh nice. Nice. Nasty. Goodness. 10, 16, 24. 24 points of damage. She, Thanks uh, for that upgrade, she guys. screams out as part of her soul is latched away from her and she is bloodied. She's hurt real oh, bad. Get out of here. 
Uh, She's hurt real bad, guys. Okay, uh, Graham, it's your turn. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, you can't make it to her. You can just run up to her if you want. Well, I'm, I'm threatened, though, right? And it'll get an attack on you. It's a cultist with a little dagger. Fair point. Uh, <laughs> all right, I'm going to run right over to her and uh, try to hit her in the face with my maul. Pink, this cultist can't get past your impenetrable armor. Uh, you can dash. You can get in there and flank with the specter with your maul. Sweet. Give me an attack. Uh, let's see. Here we go. This is not where a mage wants to be. <laughs> <laughs> the bad end of the mall. Uh, put him in her face. Let's see. So, oh, let me see here. Burp, 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 burp. Okay, great. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. S- uh, 16 to hit. 16 plus. That's definitely a hit. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, and then what am I? What am I? What am I? Two, six. Uh, 16. Wow. 16 damage? Yeah. Uh, you do 16 points of damage. She's barely up. Okay. I mean, barely. Cool. What uh, you got? I'm going to hit her again. Yeah. Okay, do it. Uh, let's see. Uh, ooh, uh, 23. 23 is a hit. And she did. Uh, oh, again. Oh, yeah, 16 again. Uh, you cave in her skull. She screams out one last time and then tumbles. And tumbles to, like, hits a gear hits a gear, hits a gear, <laughs> oh. and then falls into darkness. Uh, she is gone. Erythra is no more. Thank you. Uh, as that happens, oh, I, I need you to roll me a D100, please. To, for it to be concentrated. Do you want to roll high? Oh, boy. I'm glad you told him. What? Uh, 47. OK. Can I, uh, can I use an inspiration roll again? I'll allow you. Yeah, go ahead. No, not for even okay. hundred. Sorry, yeah, that's just gonna re-roll. Okay, cool. These things start to uh, go out of control, but then they, they maintain their targets. Okay. Um, it is now LL's turn. No, uh, yeah, LL, yeah. your turn. Yeah. Um, well, I wonder if I would have advantage attacking like a stationary pylon even without any of my regular abilities because it's just sitting there. It is just sitting there. I'll, I'll give you a sneak just to hit it if you want to hit You don't have advantage. I mean, have a thing. I, I do have advantage because I was using steady aim, but oh, I, was, I was just wondering. Give me a shot. Um, I, yeah, I'll just go ahead and um, actually, can I, re- I probably can't reach that. I'll, I'll shoot this one. Okay, go ahead. Um, nat 20. That's a that's a hit and a, and a crit. <laughs> Roll all the damage. Is this piercing damage you're doing to it? Yeah. Okay, cool. 12, 18, 21, 24, 32. Uh, It loses all of its temporary hit points, goes back to being a normal sized crystal, but, and then it takes a good bit of damage. I don't suppose I can poison the crystal with the giant spider venom, can I? Uh, you cannot. It okay. is immune to poison. It takes normal damage to piercing that. Okay, whose turn? Oh wait, sorry. I'm sorry. Piercer feet. One extra die uh, on a crit. On two extra die. Oh no, one extra. Just die. one. The one bonus die on a crit. Uh, so another four. Okay, cool. That's seventeen. Cool. I always forget. It's that. busted up. Uh, is that your turn? Um, I'm gonna steady aim again. That's okay. A bonus action. It is uh, this creature over here. It's gonna attack you, Nam, twice. Here it With comes. With disadvantage because I'm dodging. It does have disadvantage. Here it comes. A bite. That's a miss. Mm. Another miss. We love dodge. <laughs> that is how good dodge, I mean, good dodge is good. Uh, and then you're getting attacked twice. Here comes Great Clear. Two on you. Wow. Wow. Two misses from Dart. You see Dart is like fighting against it and missing you twice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dart. Uh, bu- 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 uh, it is now um, your turn. Go ahead. Uh, Spiritual Weapon can make it over to the crystal. Spiritual Weapon can. Yes, do it. Nice. 13? 13 will hit it. Oh no, 13 misses actually. That's AC 15. Stupid spiritual weapon. <laughs> <laughs> of no use. Um, then I will run away from Dart. He'll get an attack. He will get an attack. Here it comes. That is a hit. He slashes you in the back. You take um, you take eight points of damage from his glaive. I didn't like that. Uh, and then. I will hold a spell for whenever those crystals die. <laughs> hold, 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 right. hold uh, I'll hold life transference. Okay, cool. 
Awesome. Whose turn? It is now uh, the minion's turn. Skultus is still coming for you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to kill you, can't. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! It's like a fly. Uh, it is. <laughs> Nim, your turn. What do you got, Nim? All right. Um, okay, well, I might. Boom. I'm just going to dodge again. And then use that guy to not do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> There's a pesky cultist next to him. Pesky, pesky little cultist. I will go try to. Okay, go suck his life out. Do suck it. Suck the cultist life out. What'd but, you get? But, I don't know, probably not. What'd you uh, get? Six, seven, seven, eight. Eight's gonna miss. Eight yeah. is a miss. Sorry. It's okay. All right, uh, cool. But yeah, I'll just be dodging. Okay, cool. Also, I don't think I've been. Rolling to keep concentration on hex, so I don't know if I I, oh, I don't know gosh. how many I would have to roll. Like you probably to, like four or five. Yeah, you would roll me four d twenty right now. You will roll me four con saves. That probably already loses. It's it. gone. Yeah, it's gone. Your hex is gone. <laughs> uh, name as your turn, Graham. What you got? Ooh. Graham, Dark, turn. Dark's fighting. He's Dark's fighting for life. Dark. Uh, here's the <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move away from uh, the pesky little cultist. She's gonna attack you again. Never has there been so many misses as he's clinking on your armor. But you like just see his dead so face, hard. like. Uh, <laughs> Persistent. Uh, and I walk over and I want to smash the at the crystal with my uh, with my maul. Awesome. Bring up the maul again. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Definitely twenty-three. Hit. Definitely hit. Roll two d six plus six. All right. Ooh, uh, man. Uh, you do 16 points eight. of damage to it. It is over you. still barely up. Yeah. Okay, cool. Put a big crack in it. Uh, I'll do it again. Go ahead. Uh, AC 15 for these bad boys. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, 14. 14 is going to miss. I'm sorry. I'm right. have some. Uh, can I use my action surge? Yes. Yay! Yeah. There it is. There it is. He's doing it! <laughs> again. He's doing it, Peter. Uh, uh, let's see. That's uh, a hit. Uh, yeah, you 20. crush and destroy this crystal. Sweet. It is all gone. Yay. Sweet. Uh, you still have one more attack. Great. With your action uh, surge. What do you I do? Will, uh, I will throw my Warhammer at the other crystal over there. This one is, uh, yeah, I guess you could see it. You come over here and you chuck your Warhammer. Give me a throw. You have disadvantage on this throw because it's not meant to be doing that. Oh, really? Okay. Not meant to throw Warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. It's still a hit. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> uh, let's see, and this is uh, uh, a D8 D plus four. Yes. Okay. Only ten. That's 20 points of damage Ooh. as you chuck a Warhammer and crack it. This thing is bloody. It's busted up. Sweet. Uh, it is now. Bram, Bram, LL, your turn. What you got, LL? Uh, how far away am I from this last pile? In 10, 20, 30. 40. Oh, I could definitely hit it with my light crossbow. So I'll go ahead and take an advantage uh, sneak attack. Go ahead, do it. Thing. Um, yeah, I mean that's like a 25. Were any of those an 18? Uh, that's no, a they, they were not oh, an 18. Uh, with <laughs> your <laughs> with your yeah. minimum damage, you annihilate this crystal. The the protective field around the horrible apocalypse code construct drops. You can see the planescape beacon on its back pulsating with energy. Does that mean my vampire touch go off? It does. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, 14? Uh, with, a, with a flank, that's a 16, yeah. Uh, that's 3d6. One second. Let me see what its AC is. That's a hit. 16 is just a hit. Woo. Eight. What kind of damage is this? Necrotic. Uh, it takes necrotic damage. Nice. Good. And then Iris for <laughs> uh, half that. Nice. So nice. Eight. You oh, start back. sucking out, and pieces of it just start, start just to fall away. Kind of gears start falling off of it. Awesome. Sweet. Who's sure. turn? Uh, Graham. Mm. Also, I'm bonus action steady aiming again. Your bonus is 16. LL. Yeah. So now it is its turn. Um, it's going to roll me a D100. My can roll me a D100, please. Kyle, roll me a D100, please. Whoa. That's a 30. That's exactly what it was whenever it fell. 35? It turns to you. That's bad. It turns to you and is going to breathe. Frosty badness at you. Just horrible as a Goliath frosty breath. Give me a. That's what I wanted. Give me a dexterity <laughs> save. <Yeah. laughs> exactly how I wanted it to go. 18. 18. Plus oh, damn, it's uh, a save. Yeah. Exciting. <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, plus one, so 19. That's a save. Uh, instead of taking. I think it was the wrong thing. This is D10s. Here we go. Instead of taking. 
uh, uh, 15, 16, uh, 18 points of cold damage, you take 9 points of cold damage. Okay. Then con save for... Oh, not 20, of course. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that oh, is... No hey, Tozia, did anything happen with this hell portal since the succubus went away? Um, I think the hell portal's still... Now you have some, like, devils, like, a, whole, a legion, like, looking at you, <laughs> but they're not going through. <laughs> <laughs> Mechanist, no thank you. <laughs> uh, two attacks from Dart on you with a flank. That's oh. a net 20. Oh my Dark god. Comes in, Dark comes in and stabs you in the back. Even uh, with the lady gone, he's still messed yeah, up. They're, they're, no. I'm sorry. Uh, that's 11. Uh, you take 13 points of damage from Dart. Are, are, are you doing no Dart? Is that what's happening here? I, I was thinking about using my uh, Edge Death Door. Oh, 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 I negate no, it. Don't hit him in the head. Him. You want to do this? Yeah. yeah, yeah body. You negate it, Chris, so you get four hit points back. Four. Okay. So it's how many total? Seven? Seven. Yeah. Uh, it is now, that is your turn. Uh, McKinn, did you go? Was that just, no. McKinn, it's your turn. It's your McKinn? Turn. Yeah, because that was, a hell, that was a hell action. I just did so much, though. Held action. Um, all right, well, I'll do Vampire to Where did my special weapon go? Oh, I think I took it back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you cursed at it, and it went, this went out. Oh, that's right. I, I <laughs> yeah. like, uh, it's over here somewhere, right? You were swinging? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can't make it to him. Uh, okay. Can I make it to him? 22 for yeah, a I'll period touch on him. Okay, that's a hit. Roll some damage. Uh, seven, nine to him. You, so get, you get four. Four back again. Nice. Give me a spiritual weapon attack. Well done. That sucks. Nine. <laughs> Nine's gonna miss. Okay. Uh, this cultist will not die. He won't die. Um, <laughs> die! Uh, it is, it is the cultist's level. turn. He's going to run at Grammaticus. Give me a, give me a, a specter attack. A yeah, specter yeah, attack? Ahead. Oh no! I can't hit! Nine. That is, that is a, he still misses you. It's a 19 to hit you, bro. Still just getting closer though. Oh, no, nah, Nim, it's your turn. Nim. Okay, well, we'll try again to kill him, but now that this guy is uh, vulnerable. Uh -huh. Let's do some stuff. Okay, what you got? I'm gonna uh, halberd this guy. Awesome, you're but, flanking with uh, the interloper. Go ahead. But first I'm gonna... Um, hex him actually, again? Actually, I'm gonna Hexblade's Curse. Okay, go ahead. You Hexblade's so, Curse, Hexblade's the strange curse. Uh, construct. Go ahead. And then we're gonna get a two, and that's not gonna work. That's a mess. <laughs> we'll try again. And that's a 15. 15, uh, plus two will hit. Oh, okay. 17 will hit this thing, roll some damage. Okay. This is the first time he's taking damage. Oh no, you, you've done how much? 16 to it? Yes. Okay, cool. Oh wait, that was, with my thing I have plus something. No, 17, 17 to it. 17, yeah. Explains curse, I have an extra plus two to damage rolls. So that still wouldn't do it. But anyways, um, okay. Well you do that damage, right? Yeah. Four plus, uh, four, so eight plus an extra, I believe it's three from my Hexblade's Curse? It's either two or three. I don't know what it is right now. This I printed out so oh, long ago. Between those options, I'll take three. Okay. I, think it's, I think it's two for a while, right? I don't know. We'll, t I'll... we'll just keep it at two okay, and then cool. I'll How much damage update is that? it later. Yes. You, okay, cool. This thing's and hurt. And then my guy uh -huh. will come over here. Okay. <laughs> and we'll try to attack and do a little life drain. 16 That's plus a hit. six. That's a hit, roll your damage. One, two, three, four, five. I love. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. <laughs> All these times. This is oh, a permanent buff, right? These channel points are Yeah, the this happens really forever. Yeah. I really oh, do love them a lot. 10, 12. You do 12 more points of this thing. It's hurt and... Whoa, sorry. Got it. <laughs> it is hurt and bloodied. It's bloodied. Bloodied. Mm. Bloodied up. Whose turn? Uh, Nim, at Cram, Grimac, it's your turn. All right, I'm gonna take my, uh, my second wind. <laughs> yes! Uh, second all, wind! You're doing all the damage. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Right. D10, plus your level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you came back 13 uh, points. 15 points. Awesome. Um, and then you just like, <sighs> and at the same time the cultist goes. <sighs> <laughs> He's trying so hard. I, I turn toward him and raise my mace above my head <laughs> to smash down on his head. Okay, great. Uh, let's see. Let's see. It's uh, what is it? Okay, that's a nat 20. 
Oh. You raise the mace and he goes. He dies mm -hmm. already. <laughs> and he jumps down. <laughs> uh, hitting gear, 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 just, he's done. That is one attack, you, uh, you he's dead, he's gone. What uh, else you got? Uh, yeah, so then I will, um, I'll grab my, uh, I'll, I'll what do you have to throw? Your dart is right there. You can pick up the dart. Uh, dart. Yes, I'll, I'll pick up the you dart. You kip up the dart with your foot and you throw it. Who are you throwing it at? I'm throwing it at uh, our man. Awesome. Give me a throw. throw. This thing's flank. Go okay, ahead. Okay, let's see. Group, 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 group. Okay. That's uh, a hit. Cool. And then what is it? Uh, okay, 10. 10 points of damage. This thing is very, very badly hurt. It's on its last limbs. Uh, LL, it is your turn. Sneak attack. Awesome, do it. That is a hideous roll, but it's still a uh, 18. That's gonna hit. Roll some damage. Absolutely hideous, I tell you. Uh, 14, 20. 20 points of damage. Uh, it is, you hit it in its cortex. Uh, it trembles for a bit and then collapses. Uh, at the same time, Dart looks at, looks at you. Uh, he looks at all of you and he says, it was an odd <gasps> Dart! No! no! And both of them collapse. Let's try and save him. <laughs> Let's take the spider part of it. Uh, <laughs> you, you collect the Planescape Beacon uh, from the corpse of this apocalypse code construct, uh, and you rush back into the portal towards the equestrian, um, and you make your way back into Sigil. Can we bring Dart's body? You have Dart's body with you. You're literally holding oh, up to Dart's okay, body. Great. Bring it with you. <laughs> Wait, wait, is it this or is it the <laughs> Honestly, I think it's this. Yeah. Oh, it's, no. it's no longer in the automaton. You're now holding like a a coiled, a curled up spider. We will fix you, Dart. Okay, awesome. Uh, well done, everybody. You have collected the beacon uh, and made enemies again of the host temperament who threw undead corpses of your previous victories at you. So that's a thing. <laughs> wow. That's a thing they do. Mm -hmm. uh, well done. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate this. This is our mid-season finale. Um, we're gonna come back in two weeks. We've got a one week break uh, because we're all in various different places because life is happening. Uh, but then we'll be back for more Planescaping fun uh, with DM Tozy Presents. These channel points are rad. Please keep using those. Keep watching the shows. If you keep watching all my content, all our content here, uh, you, you get more channel points, which means you can affect, just like you saw, you can affect what's happening on the board, which is totally rad. You can help me out, or you can help them out, or you can do both, like some <laughs> evil mad geniuses at home with your little puppet strings. Uh, very cool. Thank you all. Thank you all for coming. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Uh, good work, everybody. Good work. That is it. Take us out.